everyone, my name is Gina Hobson and I'm the Student Engagement Manager here at Moat Marine Laboratory. Today I'm on one of the docks in Moat's own backyard to do some exploring and find some cool critters. We want to encourage you to get out in your own backyard and do the same thing to find some cool wildlife. Now there's lots of wildlife to view in this area from seabirds to marine mammals. But today we're going to be taking a closer look at the smaller animals that people often miss. Most of these are invertebrates, and they're so small that I brought my magnifying glass to help us out today. Moat is located on New Pass, a passage of water between Sarasota Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. Across from us, you can see Quick Point Preserve, which is on the south end of Longboat Key. Today we're going to be talking about fouling organisms, or organisms that start their lives as free-swimming larvae but end up sessile or fixed to one object as adults. These organisms often collect or colonize on objects submerged in the water, like docks and ships. Some of our students here at Moat Marine Laboratory created platforms to collect these fouling organisms. So we're gonna pull up one of these platforms today and take a look at what we find. So I'm going to show you one of the ladders here. This ladder is made out of a plastic decking material and you can see that we ca uh, caught quite a lot. So we're going to take a closer look at these organisms and learn what they are. First up we're going to talk about tunicates. Now tunicates are an animal most people probably won't recognize, but they're actually covering this entire ladder. And they come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Let's take a look at this black tunicate right here. Now tunicates are filter feeders, which means that they feed on microorganisms that drift through the water, like plankton. To feed, they have an intake siphon that draws water into the body, and a second siphon that expels it. Now sometimes tunicates squirt water from their siphons, earning them the common name sea squirt. Over here, these purple and orange tunicates are flat tunicates, which means they're made up of many tunicate organisms. Now we're going to zoom in on our ladder right over here. Now you may have thought this was a clump of seaweed or algae, but it's actually an animal called a bryozoan. Now people used to think bryozoans were plants, and so their name literally translates to moss animal. Like tunicates, bryozoans are filter feeders and come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Bryozoans are made up of colonies of organisms that have to work together in order to survive. Now here's an organism many people will recognize, barnacles. Barnacles are a common fouling organism and secrete a concrete-like natural glue to attach to objects. Because of the way they look, barnacles are usually associated with oysters and other mollusks. But did you know they're actually arthropods? which means they are more closely related to crabs. Now here we can see barnacles feeding. And the animal is covered in hard plates, which they make out of calcium. And they have a door of plates that opens and closes depending on the tides. When the barnacle is covered with water, it opens the plates in order to filter feed with these feather-like appendages. When the tide goes out, the door closes in order to conserve moisture. Check this out, we found a group of feather duster worms, also known as fan worms, but they really don't look like worms at all. And that's because they're encased in a protective coating that they've created out of mucus and sand. The duster that we see here is a ring of tentacles used for breathing and feeding, collecting plankton as it drifts by. The tentacles also have light sensing spots that detect shadows passing overhead and retract to avoid predators. Fowling colonies are some of the most competitive habitats in the world, and you can see why. All these organisms are really fighting for space. This is a small spider crab, and spider crabs cover themselves in algae and other material in order to camouflage themselves. You might be asking what all this brown stuff around the ladder is. This is algae. An algae is like the plant of the sea, and much like plants that we know on land, it uses sunlight in order to gain its energy. And also, like plants, it releases oxygen for us to breathe.
fouling organisms would be today. And don't forget when you head outside in your backyard to do your own wildlife exploration, don't forget to look for the little guys too. They're just as important to our environment as the megafauna or the large animals. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you leave us a like or a comment. And don't forget, Moat is going to continue bringing you online content. So keep checking our social media. Signing off from Moat Marine Laboratory, this is Gina. Thank <laughs> you.